we're good to go. Uh, not Mel, or is it Emilian on the Ten Academy team? No, it's me, uh, Herod. It's Emilian. I just want oh. to record the, the call. You can go on. Okay, uh, not Mel has returned, but okay, okay. So, uh, welcome everyone again. Um, so today is going to be uh, week one's uh, challenge introduction. My name is uh, Keror Sisai, and uh, I am one of the technical tutors. I'm sorry, uh, am I clear? Like, I think there's some noise, or is it clear? Emilian, it's kind clear. of confirmed. Yeah, it's clear. Yeah, sure, it's clear. Okay, okay. so uh, the first week uh, challenge is going to be uh, on. Uh, relocation site selection so uh, we, we're gonna go through the uh, project scenario you can go through these uh, files if you like it just gives an overview about this uh, the program so uh, let's get started so uh, the project scenario you're gonna be working as uh, an operations manager at a company called freeborn Inc and they are your company are uh, looking to reallocate their uh, relocate their headquarters to africa so they're looking for a city with clean air stable pollution levels uh, good air quality monitoring systems and affordable cost for their employees so uh, for this week you're going to be working on choosing a location that's in africa uh, that fulfills these uh, things. So the uh, goals are going to be, the specific goals are going to be looking for a city that has a good environmental quality monitoring and coverage analysis, which is uh, going to be evaluated by uh, evaluating the cities from the list based on air quality, focusing on uh, the cities with low pollution levels. So you're gonna be selecting a city with low air pollution. And uh, we're gonna give you a data set and you're gonna be evaluating and taking the reliability of their air quality. So uh, I hope I'm not mo moving a bit fast. So if there is any question or anything that's not clear, make sure to just open your mic and speak or uh, you can just raise your hands so is it clear so far guys oh good uh, okay okay i think it's not clear for one person so uh okay so the documents uh, is going to be shared on the week panel on slack and we're gonna be announcing it when it's when it's done okay then that's fine okay good so uh th that's going to be the your first goal uh and your second goal is going to be sustainability and healthy pack so uh you're gonna be focusing on clean air so that it's healthy for your employees so uh, they can benefit from uh, health benefits potential health benefits for your employees and the third one is going to be cost of li living so you're going to be uh, using uh, uh, data that's collected on cities on their uh, cost of living so you're going to be collecting these data and you're gonna be evaluating this uh, uh, data that you are going to be collecting, and you're, you're gonna be prioritizing them in, in order of uh, cost of living. So you're gonna be uh, lo looking for affordability for your employees, which include housing, transportation, utilities, 
uh, and just giving expenses, uh, schools for the children and so on. So we're gonna be uh, showing you how you're gonna be uh, collecting this uh, data for your an analysis and as well as how you, you're gonna be doing the analysis or the, your uh, data analysis for the given data set. So, uh, so don't feel threatened uh, if you don't know these uh, things. And lastly, you're, you're gonna be introduced to using giant AI tools in order to just uh, create your presentations and summarize and analysis. So creating a report uh, that summarizes your analysis and presentations is going to be part of this uh, goal. So uh, you're gonna be developing presentations in order to communicate your findings and recommendations. So your re recommendation is going to be a city that's located in Africa and depending on their air quality, low pollution and affordability. So that's going to be your job for uh, this week. So, uh, so that's just the project scenario as a whole. And the expected outcomes are using uh, data analysis tools to access the air quality monitoring systems uh, and le learning how to implement data visualization by using uh, Google Sheets uh, and deeper dive of data analysis by using advanced features of Google Sheets. So this is going to be an extension of the first one, the prior one, and synthesize learning and presentation of project outcomes, which is going to be uh, reporting, uh, summarizing your results and presenting your work and effective presentations by using Google Slides. So you're gonna be improving your uh, skill in presentation and just com communicating your work and recommendation by using uh, Google Slides to your audience. So we have provided you with uh, data. So your data is going to be found here in this link. Uh, and it's going to be uh, about the air uh, quality measurement data that's found on Kaggle. And it's for four countries. So you have Uganda, Kenya, Nigeria, and Burundi. So you are gonna be working with these four countries for this project. So uh, the structure for the data are, you have the hour, the month, the site ID, the longitude and, the latitude of the site, which gives us the coordinates, the exact coordinate of the site, the city, the date, the country, and the sulfur dioxide column and the PM25. And yeah, so these are going to be the ozone and the carbon, uh, the carbon monoxide and the nitrogen dioxide are going to be your measures of uh, the air quality of that city or that specific site. So you're going to be using this data in order to answer uh, the first two goals, which are, uh, let me just go back, and which are going to be the environmental quality monitoring and coverage analysis and uh, sustainability and health inputs. Uh, yeah, so, uh, for the team, you have Yabwald, Nathanael, Kerod, and Girma. Uh, sorry, already Girma. And uh, the key dates include the challenge introduction, which we are having right now. And you're going to be having an interim submission on Wednesday, which is uh, July 31st. And your final submission is going to be on August uh, 3rd, which is going to be on the Saturday. So. The interim submission is going to be. Uh, we'll see which what you're going to be submitting on the interim submissions and what you're going to be submitting on the final submissions. But yeah. So uh, before we go uh, to the tasks, do you guys have any questions? It's not all of them. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, any questions? The floor is yours. No questions. If everything is clear, kind of again, some thumbs up. Yes. Bernard. Okay, thank you. I think um, it, it's insightful and challenging, so we take a look at it. But my question is, um, um, at the end of the, uh, the, the, the period or the week, um, the assignment, uh, can it be like uh, presented as, as a rare scenario or like, um, can you represent the actual situation or just, this is just a modeling um, uh, um, assignment. Can it be taken for a rare data, rare time uh, 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 analysis? Um, I'm sorry, Bernard, but I'm having a bit problem uh, hearing you. Is it only on, on my side, guys? Okay, I don't know if you can hear me now. Yeah, it's better now. Yeah. Okay, okay so my accent. Um, can, can this be uh, taken for a real world situation or is this a, a simulation exercise? Um, so, uh, I'm not sure if I heard you right, but uh, I heard it's simulation. Is that correct? Uh, I did? Yes, I'm asking that if this can be taken for a real world situation, with the outcome to represent oh, exactly okay. what is happening there in the future location like this, you know, just a simulation and modeling exercise. Okay, so the question is if, if if it is a real world problem and if it's or if it is a simulation, right? So yes, uh, exactly. Yes, okay. So the short answer to that is yes, it's a real world problem, and the data we have provided you with our real world data. So these are collected by using real uh, sensors and on real sites and so on. So these data are uh, real world data and the scenarios are going to be a mimic of real world scenarios. They're not exactly, uh, you're not exactly going to recommend the company, but it's a mimic of real world problems or situations. So okay. is it clear? Yeah, but the data and everything are going to be. Uh, uh, if you go to the link that we have provided for the data, you can find them uh, on Kaggle and you can read about them more there. But yeah. Okay. Maybe, uh, okay. Okay, uh, if there are no questions, uh, okay. Uh, broadcast, we're going to be talking about what you're going to be sub submitting on the stream uh, a bit later. So yeah, just tune in. Okay, so let's jump to the tasks and the deliverables. So for the tasks, the first task, uh, okay. For the task, the first task is going to be preparation. So, uh, the first thing that you are going to be doing is just basic data ha handling. Uh, you're going to be downloading the data set that we have provided and do some basic data cleaning and preparation in Google, the Google Sheets. So we're going to be showing you how you can do this, uh, but this is going to be how uh, uh, your first task. So you, you're going to be downloading the data set into your Google Sheets, and you're going to be doing uh, some basic data cleaning and preparation uh, for the data. So how you're going to be doing this is we have provided some resources at the end of the challenge document, which is this one. And uh, we, you're going to be having a tutorial and uh, yeah, the uh, self-driven learning. And then you're going to be working on data visualization by using Google Sheets. So you're going to be visualizing data trends using some uh, basic charts and creating pivot tables. So 
again, uh, there's going to be a session or a tutorial on how to do this. And we have also included uh, resources at the end of the current document. Yeah, so the second task is going to be collection of data. So as I have mentioned earlier, so uh, you're going to be collecting data about the cost of living of each city that you're going to be analyzing from the website. So from the web. So uh, we have provided two web websites, which is uh, Nambio and Expantasia. Uh, no, yeah. And uh, local government portals. So you're going to be uh, having a session on how you can uh, just go through these two websites and just uh, download your da data set, look for what you need, and do some analysis. So, what you're going to be looking through are housing, which include rental and utilities and groceries. You're, you're going to be having a, an estimate of uh, monthly food budget, education for the children, and healthcare. So this is going to be including uh, data collections from these two sites. For the first one, you're going to be finding uh, the rent of uh, the average rent of uh, one bedroom apartment in each city that you are going to be uh, analyzing. And for the other side, you're going to be taking or uh, finding the average cost of groceries and health care and school fees. Yeah, so once you have these uh, expenses, the rent, the utility, the grocery, the education, and the health care, you're going to be calculating the annual cost so the annual cost is going to be only uh, all these expenses multiplied by 12 since these expenses are found in monthly basis you're gonna be multiplying them by 12 in order to find the uh, yearly cost or the annual cost so and then for standardization uh, purposes you're gonna be converting all costs into uh, United States dollars if they are found in different currencies. But if you found them in uh, just the United States dollars currency, you don't need to, to convert them. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, any questions so far, guys? Okay, so for task three, we have uh, data analysis. So you're going to be, uh, what you're going to do is advanced uh, filtering and query functions and using Google, Google Sheets to do statistical analysis. We, we're going to be having a session on uh, data analysis techniques and how we're going to be uh, doing them on Google Sheets <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, and developing interactive charts uh, for task two, for task one, we were having just simple charts, but here you're going to be developing interactive charts and integrating your Google Sheets with, with your uh, Google D Data Studio for better uh, Enhance it report. So, is that a question? You want that? Jonathan and then Antenna. Hello? Yes, Kirut. Yeah, I think, okay, someone raised their hand. I was asking them to speak. Okay, maybe it was a mistake. So the last uh, task of task three is going to be integrating your Google Sheets uh, and doing some enhanced uh, reporting by using 
uh, just the Google D Data Studio. So the last uh, task for this uh, project is going to be reporting and communicating. So you're going to be using Giant API tools in order to report. So you're going to be using Giant API to develop a project report and for developing a slide deck for the report. So for effective reporting with uh, Google Docs, Docs, you're going to be integrating uh, data visualizations into the report, which means images, the graphs, and the, your generated reports from Google Studio, and uh, tips for effective uh, story telling with data and uh, using generative AI for text and image is going to be covered as a session uh, on later of the week. So these all are going to be included in these week's tutorial sessions. Okay. Before I go to the submissions, are there any great questions on what the tasks are? Okay, okay, I'm going to take that as a no. Shall we continue, guys? Yes, I'll just. Oh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, please, I I joined about one minute late, so just pick up one of the issues that was discussed is the chest within the chest ten minutes. Uh, it's it's breaking up a bit on my side, or is it is it just on my side, guys? I think it's. Yeah, really, yeah, I think it's breaking. You only Elvis, I think it's uh, your net network. It's breaking up. I couldn't hear you. Can we see better? Um, still, still breaking up. Maybe you can uh, write in the uh, message. Okay, okay, okay. I'll okay. do that. Okay, and Alazar. So uh, the collection of the data, you're gonna be having a session on how to do that. So I believe it's uh, tomorrow session. You're gonna be having a workflow on how to collect this data. Yes. Okay, uh, let me just continue then. So I think we stopped at the due dates or the submissions. So for the interim submissions, which is going to be on this Wednesday, you're gonna be submitting a single PDF file, which is a minimum of two pages and a maximum of six, six pages. Please make sure that uh, the file that you have submitted is not uh, less than two pages and uh, above six pages. And uh, the objective of having an interim submission um, is uh, just to have uh to have a sense of that the trains are going to keep on track with the completing the project all on time so uh what you're gonna be uh reporting to us or what you're gonna be including in your submission are is going to be the business understanding the charts and the findings from your data uh, and data collected from task. So what we expect from you guys are going to be a minimum of task one, which should be completed and reflected in the report, and uh, ideally parts of task two, and uh, that should be reflected in the reports. And if you have actually done more than uh, task one and task two, you should include them in the report as well.
but make sure to do at least task one by Wednesday and some part of ta task two or the whole part of task two. So that's going to be your interim submission. So your business understanding, uh, what do you understand about the business and the project, uh, charts and findings from the data, which are going to be your data analysis and uh, charts by using Excel, and any data uh, collected from for task two, which is actually about uh, the living expense. So there, there are no templates uh, provided and no title pages required. You don't need to have a title page where you just write your name and uh, other stuff. You, you can just start uh, from your report on the get-go. And all sections have to have a heading. So is that clear? Okay. 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 Good. So for uh, the final submission, which is going to be on Saturday, we expect the whole project, which is from task one, uh, sorry, from task one uh, up to task four. And what you're gonna be submitting is going to be a report, which is going to be which have to be in a PDF format, and it have to be a minimum of three pages and a maximum of ten pages, and uh, a link to your uh, Google Data Studio dashboard, which is included in your the report. So you need to include a link to your uh, Google Data. Uh, studio in the report that you are going to be su submitted, uh, su submitting, I'm sorry. So the contents uh, of the report that you are, you are going to submit have to have uh, an executive summary, which is just a one paragraph su summary of what have been reported, what's included in the report and so on. And the project structure is going to have data analysis and visualizations by using just screenshots from, uh, it could be from the Google Data Studio or the Google Sheets and so on, and include this uh, actually could be, uh, okay, yeah, make sure to include the uh, link to your dashboard as well. And for a bonus, make sure to include uh, linked to access uh, the Google Data Studio to allow the teaching uh, the church uh, the teaching team to access them. So uh, one of the problem is uh, when you provide the links, you have to make sure that they have the proper access so that we can view them. Uh, this is uh, this will be especially useful for your CD or profile. And uh, the other content is going to be recommendations. So as uh, for the project scenario, you are a project, the operating the operations ma manager for a company, right? So you are going to have to report for that company what you have found, right? So uh, the recommendations content is going to have, uh, or is going to include uh, recommendations to the clients on where the investment should be, so where the company should move to and why, and use the data to support your conclusions. So your recommendations should be data driven. And for the conclusions, just summarize the report and uh, the next steps or the, your future steps. Uh, advanced visualizations by using the data studio, the Google Data Studio, and showcase, uh, which showcase critical insights and results. So that's going to be your final submissions, which is going to be on Saturday. So is that clear, guys? Good. Okay, so we do have a lead policy 
at 10 academy so uh, you have to be on time which is a critical uh, point for the trainees to prepare for the professional world so we do expect you to be on time um, so being on time means attending the sessions or actively being scheduled part time and submitting assignments before or on the due dates and on the due time however uh, on the morning session uh, uh, so on the morning session we have told you that uh, attending the sessions is not mandatory but uh, submitting your work on time is so try as much as you can to submit your work on time so uh, so submissions which are submitted before the deadline receive a 20 uh, percent bonus rate towards the uh, leaderboard ranking and which are uh, submissions which are uh, like one minute late up to 24 hours 24 hours late have no penalty but no bonus and submissions which are submitted after a day or after 24 hours uh, will have their uh, work auto graded but grade doesn't count towards the leaderboard so you will get a grade and you will get uh, your feedback and so on but it will not it might not be included in the leaderboard so you can have you can see the full policy here we have attached the uh, pdf here and yeah so for the tutorial sessions uh, we just had right now we are ha having the introduction to the challenge and in the afternoon so the blue means afternoon the uh, just the purple means the morning sessions so in the afternoon you're gonna have data handling and uh, visualizations by using google sheets with reddit and tomorrow morning you're gonna have a session with uh, on uh, data collection from the sites uh, we have mentioned earlier and in the afternoon you're gonna have a session on submitting on 10x and on wednesday morning you're gonna have a session on data analysis techniques and for thursday you're gonna be having another session in the morning about creating dashboards or interactive dashboards by using uh, google data studio and friday which is going, going to be your last technical uh, uh, session you're gonna be having a session on joint API for preparing reports so you will be receiving comments and feedbacks in addition in addition to the breaks that will be available after you have submitted your reports or your works so we have included uh, the references as i have mentioned earlier so you can go through these uh, references and try to find more and uh, just uh, yeah so that's it for the challenge introduction on my side so i uh, the floor is yours for patience Okay, uh, from the message, uh, let me just try to answer a couple of questions. Uh, okay, so Elvis uh, said, just a recap of uh, what we have discussed for the first 10 minutes. Okay. okay, before that, let me just try to answer the rest of the questions. So the recordings are going to be available on the uh, YouTube channel that we have shared in the morning and it's shared on the Slack, on Slack, and it will be available uh, in a couple of hours after the ending of the sessions. And other, uh, so you can just go to the web and search for Google Studios and you'll find it, but if you want, uh, we're gonna be having a session on how to use them. So you, you can have more information then. Okay, I, any other quick questions before we do a quick recap?
Okay. Okay, so for those of you who joined late, uh, let's do just a quick recap on what we have discussed uh, earlier. So we're going to start from the project scenario and the business objective, which is the business objective of this project. So uh, you're going to be working as, for this project, you're going to be working as, uh, sorry, operations manager, I'm sorry, uh, just a minute. Okay, I'm back. So for this pro project, you're gonna be working as an operations manager at a company called Freeborn Inks. And your company is looking to move its headquarters to Africa. So it wants to find a place or an, uh, a city in Africa uh, which has clean air, stable pollution levels, and uh, good air quality monitoring systems and affordable li living costs. So as operations manager, you are assigned to find the best uh, city which align with these goals uh, for your company. So. Your company headquarters is currently not in Africa, so if you want to move to Africa and they're looking to find or they're lo looking to move to a city with, uh, which has these qualities. So uh, the goals, the specific goals of uh, that's going to guide you in order to find or in order to select uh, the right city are, the first thing is environmental quality monitoring and the coverage analysis. So here you're going to do uh, an evaluation of the cities from the list based uh, on air quality data, which we have already provided. So okay. we have provided the uh, air quality data and you're going to be doing some analysis and you're going to be focusing on uh, cities with low uh, pollution levels. So uh, from the data set, you're gonna be evaluating and checking the reliability of their quality of each city, and you, you're gonna be focusing on the city with low pollution. And the second thing you're gonna be looking at, or the second goal is just considering the potential health benefits that the employees are going to get by uh, selecting a city which has clean air. So as much as you can, you need to find a city with the cleanest air there is. And uh, the third thing, or the last thing, uh, the last goal for uh, selecting a city is going to be a uh, collection of cost of living data for the settings using the sites we have provided. So you're gonna be evaluating the cost of li living of the cities. Uh, we have already provided uh, which costs you are going to be looking for and uh, the sites that you can uh, look for them. And you're going to be just evaluating these costs and check for affordability. So you're going to be going through each city and collecting this uh, like data and just uh, you're going to be re recommending the least expensive one, right? just basically the most affordable one. So these expenses include rent, transport, utilities, uh, groceries, schools, and healthcare. So yeah, and the last goal for this project is going to be creating a report uh, that summarizes the analysis that you did and just present the uh, insight that you have found from your, your analysis. And you're gonna be uh, developing presentations to communicate the findings and the recommendations from your data analysis. So your re recommendations should be, I'm gonna like say this again, they should be uh, data-driven. Yeah, so is that a question? I think I heard someone speak. Okay. So, 
the expected outcomes are going to be the using of data analysis tools uh, in order to assess the quality of air monitoring systems uh, and learning how to just uh, implement data visualizations by using Google Sheets and doing a deeper dive data analysis by using our feature uh, Google Sheets of Google Sheets and just learning, uh, synthesize learning and present project outcomes by using RPM principles, uh, which you're going to be having a session, I believe, and effective presentations with Google Slides. So these are the uh, expected outcomes. So as we have, uh, as I have mentioned earlier, we have provided you with uh, air quality measurement data for four countries, which include Uganda, Kenya, Niger, and Bundi. So you're gonna be having, uh, you're gonna be going through this data. Uh, you're, you're gonna be having a session on the afternoon about how to download the data set, load it to your Google Sheets and do some uh, analysis and visualizations by using Google Sheets. So yeah, so this data includes the hour, the month, the site ID, the latitude and the longitude of the sites, which gives you the exact coordinate of the site, the city, the date, the country, the sulfur, the sulfur dioxide, uh, density number, the PM25, the nitrogen dioxide, and the carbon monoxide, and those all uh, density numbers. So these numbers are going to be uh, the measure, how you're going to be measuring the air. So this is going to be when you put uh, your analysis with this data, you have to, uh, basically you will be able to answer the first two goals, right? which is reducing the air pollution and finding a clean air for your employees. Yeah. So uh, for the tasks, I'm going to just go through this, this one. Uh, so for the tasks, uh, you have the first task is going to be preparation, which includes basic, uh, the basic data handling, which includes uh, downloading the data set and cleaning them and preparing them by using uh, Google Sheets. So you're gonna be having a session on this one and uh, data visualizations by using Google Sheets is going to be part of the task one, which includes uh, visualizing data trends by using uh, just the basic charting techniques and creating the pivot tables, which when it's needed. So. You're gonna be having another session. No, uh, I think these two are on the same sessions, but you're, you're gonna be uh, looking at how you're gonna be doing these things. And the second task is going to be data collections. So we have provided you with two sites here, and if you want, you can go and find other sites. Just make sure that they are reliable. So what you're gonna do on task two is just collect the living cost of uh, for the cities that are provided. Uh, so, from the two sides, uh, you're going to be lo looking at housing, which includes rental, rent and utilities, uh, groceries, which are just monthly uh, food budgets, educations, school fees, and healthcare si systems. So. Uh, through these sites in order to find uh, the monthly rent, the monthly utility cost, uh, the groceries, or which means the monthly food budget, uh, the school fees per month, and the healthcare system that I have. And you're going to be just adding these costs and multiplying them by 12 in order to find the annual cost. And you're going to be comparing each city by their annual cost to find which is more affordable than the other. And make sure to just convert all the costs into a standard currency. For this case, we're going to be using uh, dollars, the uh, United States dollars, you know, uh, just as our standard currency. So if you find 
is in different currencies the first thing you should do is just uh, convert this into uh, United States dollars and just that uh, so, so that you can have a consistent uh, currency yeah so for task three you're gonna be just doing data analysis uh, which include advanced filtering and query functions you uh, you using Google Sheets for statistical analysis, developing interactive charts, and just integrating Google Sheets with uh, Google uh, Data Studio for analysis reporting. And analysis, actually, it's a better analysis tool for more complicated data sets. So we're going to be looking at how you can use these uh, uh, tools in order to achieve our goals. Yeah, and the last, uh, is that a question? I think someone was speaking. Okay. So, and the last task is going to be reporting and communication. So for this task, you're gonna be exploring joint API tools to create your report. So, uh, you're going to be using Giant API for reporting, which include developing uh, project report and developing slide decks to accompany your reports. So when you are reporting with uh, uh, using Google Docs, PDFs, make sure to integrate your uh, data visualization into the reporting, which include the charts, the reports, the dashboard, and so on and tips for uh, effective data uh, storytelling with data and using giant ai for text and image are going to be i believe covered or we, we're going to share a link here so yeah uh that's wha about what you're going to be just about what you're going to be doing for this week uh is that clear elvis Yes, thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. So, uh, so is everything clear, guys? Or is it? Is there anything that you want me to go over again? Okay. Okay. Uh, I believe that's it for my side. Not not mail. If you have, if you can't speak, maybe if you want to say something. Or uh, okay, uh, thank you for it for Carrot for uh, the introduction. I just want to add, uh, make sure to ask any questions on Slack and also make sure to reach out to the tutors if you are facing any issues. And also when somebody asks on Slack, make sure to contribute and answer their question. Okay, uh, I want also to pass an announcement. Hello, everyone, once again. My name is Emilia, uh, the community manager. So we are going to have our community session in a few minutes, I think in uh, around 35 minutes, yeah. So I'll be sending uh, a reminder on Slack, on community building session on Slack. So let's join. Today is going to be about uh, knowing more each other and yeah, so fun. So that's it for me. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Have a great day, everyone. Uh, see you later.